हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक अगेन इन द न्यू वीडियो ऑफ पावर लर्निंग चैनल माय नेम इज़ मुजम्मिल इस्माइल एंड यू आर वाचिंग पावर लर्निंग चैनल सो इन टुडेज वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट माय एक्सपीरियंस विद द आवर न्यू साइट वी डिलीवर अ न्यू जनरेटर एंड कस्टमर हैविंग कंप्लेन आफ्टर स्टार्टिंग द जनरेटर ऑन लोड सो वॉट इज़ द लोड टाइप वॉट इज़ द इंजिन वॉट इज़ द जनरेटर इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू फुल डिटेल दिस इज little bit a long video but you have to watch it completely if you watch this kind of video completely it will give you more experience because you are now sitting at your home and using your mobile if you watch this kind of video so it will increase your experience okay but if you are wasting your time by watching other videos funny videos on channel on we youtube so it will never give you any benefit but if you are watching power learning channel so always you will get new information experience with free of cost there is no cost and we are bringing fully practical videos for all of you that you will learn from this and after that you will learn uh, earn a good money from your company and from your business so in this video what i will explain you watch it carefully if you watch this video carefully after that you are able to troubleshoot about generator you will know about uh, programming today in this video i will explain you about the manual programming of this deep sea controller and also the internal panel how is the wiring what are the relays used and what is the governor type what is the engine type what is the alternator type all and all information in this single video so keep watching this video continuously watching this video if you watch complete video so you will know that how the generator we will troubleshoot so here is the name plate of the generator and this is our deep c 8610 now you see the generator rpm is stable and there is no issues with generator but before we receive a call and customer is complaining about engine hunting engine speed is not stable and due to this reason our rpm and current is also not stable there is a fluctuation in the current there is a fluctuation in the uh, engine also itself so now i will show you how to program this controller first so first you will see i am pressing now the enter button and the stop button simultaneously so now i will press the button together okay so once i press this editor mode is enabled so now you see in editor mode uh, mode we have engine and here is the engine parameters like crank oil disconnect oil pressure check prior to starting crank disconnect frequency and oil pressure low shutdown oil pressure low pre alarm coolant temperature high pre alarm coolant temperature high shutdown preheat temperature preheat timer post heat temperature post heat timer battery under voltage warning is active battery under voltage warning 23 volt battery under voltage and battery over voltage warning so all these are the engine parameters which is related to engine now you are seeing on the screen you will watch this video carefully so you will see how to configure the controller and after that i will show you the internal part of this panel how the relays and the wirings are installed so now i am in the generator section here you see i am i it is showing all the parameter which is set in this controller so the under voltage over voltage settings pre alarm settings delay settings so all these settings are very important for every generator so now this generator is setting 220 volt okay but this is line to neutral volt this is not a phase to phase volt phase to phase voltage of this generator is 380 volt so my dear friend as you see now it is showing the frequency and we have set the frequency alarm here loading frequency nominal frequency over under voltage frequencies so all these stuff you are learning now from this video if you watch it carefully so i am sure you will not waste your time so now it is showing that ct primary is 400 amps full load rotating is 338 ampere delayed over current immediate over current delayed over current protection and this is full load kilowatt this is 180 kilowatt engine so then we have kilowatt alarm and kilowatt alarm delay so all these feature now i am going in the para timers okay now you see it is showing the timers start delay off delay okay 
सो ऑल दीज डिले टाइमर यू कैन सेट फ्रॉम द टाइमर सेक्शन वॉच इट केयरफुली सो यू विल नॉट मिस एनी सेटिंग्स ओके हेयर वी आर सींग नाउ स्मोक लिमिटिंग क्रैंक टाइमिंग सो ऑल दीज सेटिंग्स यू मस्ट नो बिकॉज यू आर अ जनरेटर टेक्नीशियन और जनरेटर इंजीनियर सो यू मस्ट नो ऑल दीज एंड वॉट आर द फंक्शन ऑफ दीज सेटिंग्स इफ एनी ऑफ द सेटिंग इज मिस कन्फिगर्ड सो यू आर फेसिंग प्रॉब्लम विद योर जनरेटर सो आई डोंट वॉन्ट दैट एनी वन ऑफ यू यू विल स्टक एट साइट एंड यू डोंट नो हाउ टू सॉल्व द इशू सो फॉर दिस रीजन आई एम मेकिंग अ लॉट ऑफ वीडियोज फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू दैट यू विल वॉच दीज वीडियोज एंड लर्न फ्रॉम दैम एंड यू विल बी अपग्रेडेड योर इंफॉर्मेशन योर एक्सपीरियंस बाय शेयरिंग एंड ऑल्सो If anyone you need any support from me just comment below in this video I will explain you everything whatever you want to see on this channel regarding the generators or electrical control system ATS system synchronizing system whatever is your question kindly in detail in detail you will mention me in the comment box so I will explain you full details so my dear friend as you see now I am uh showing you all the module settings okay so after this we will see the generator uh internal panel and how is the wiring and everything just stay connected and you will see now i am in the module section again i come back here you will set the contrast and that's all for this okay so now i will what i will do i will start the generator and check again that there is any problem or no because i already adjust the avr and i will check now i will start now so here you see first safety on delay now warming up and now the engine is warming up and now the generator is available so now it this time once generator available is written on the screen you can turn on the load breaker okay on this condition now you see 220 volt and 381 volt is showing and now i will go in another menu in engine section now you see here we have rpm 1800 rpm is our standard here in saudi arabia in your country maybe it's 1500 rpm so now i open the control panel and i will show you one by one all the wiring so you will know here you see this is v1 v1 we have to connect four wires one is u v w and n u is your red face v is your yellow phase and blue phase and black phase so all these four wires you'll connect here after that we have four wires from cts we will connect this four wire cts here okay and here we have in the bottom our battery supply as you see on number 1 and 2 we will connect our battery number 3 we will connect the uh, emergency stop and number 4 and 5 we will uh, connect our Uh, solenoid switch and our starter motor after that we have analog uh, out, uh, digital outputs okay and here we have to push button for resetting the alarms okay my dear friend so now you see inside the our control panel here if you see we have connector wire connector where it is writing emergency stop so emergency stop wirings are connecting here and after that we have one fuse one breaker for negative and positive okay dynamo breaker and positive breaker sorry and here after that we have a small fuses which is for generator supply okay and these three the as you see 25 26 and 27 these are generator fuses and here we have 90 number wire for dynamo okay and the positive is 130 the main positive of the generator is 130 so here we have also two more fuses and this is the relay for fuel k2 we are using for starter relay and for as you see k3 and k4 is contact relay and alarm relay and here we have in the end our battery charger okay so this battery charger can charge our battery when engine is in standby mode and here you see we have two wires in the top and two wires in the bottom so two wires are giving 220 volt ac and two wires are going out for 12 volt dc okay my dear friends so now i will stop the engine and let's go to 
सो नाउ आई विल शो यू द गवर्नर कार्ड कनेक्शन सो हेयर वी हैव अवर गवर्नर कार्ड दिस इज स्पीड कंट्रोल यूनिट ई एस डी फाइव फाइव जीरो ई ओके एंड द सीरियल नंबर इट्स मैंशन देयर दिस इज मेड इन यू एस ए एज यू सी मेड इन अगवाम अगवामो यू एस ए एंड दिस इज़ अवर स्पीड कंट्रोलर एक्चुअली दिस कार्ड इज यूजिंग फॉर इंजन स्पीड कंट्रोलिंग ओके सो हेयर वी हैव सिक्स वायर कनेक्टेड ऑन एट एक्चुएटर टू वायर्स पिकअप टू वायर्स एंड बैटरी टू वायर्स सो द बैटरी इज़ कमिंग फ्राम अवर कंट्रोल अवर कंट्रोल पैनल एंड पिकअप इज़ कमिंग फ्राम एंड हेयर यू सी वी हैव अवर पोटेंशियोमीटर विच इज फॉर स्पीड सेटिंग एंड हेयर वी हैव टू पोटेंशियोमीटर फॉर गेन एंड स्टेबिलिटी फ्राम वेयर यू विल सेट द गेन एंड स्टेबिलिटी सो इन दिस इंजन वी हैव अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ गेन एंड स्टेबिलिटी सो वी एडजस्ट फ्राम गेन एंड स्टेबिलिटी फ्राम दिस पोटेंशियोमीटर सो दिस इज द मेन ब्रेकर ऑफ द जनरेटर एंड नाउ आई विल शो यू द इंजन नाउ वी विल गो एंड चेक अवर इंजन वॉट इज दिस इज अवर कमिंस इंजन एज यू सी दिस इज कमिंस इंजन बी वाई सी दिस इज द पार्ट नंबर फॉर द पम्प and here we have our cummins engine name plate cummins normally put their name plate here on the timing gear side okay so this is 6 cta engine 6 cta 8.3 g7 engine and here it's mention idle speed 800 rpm okay and all the kilowatt ratings are mention on this so now i will show you further Uh, regarding the engine side here you see this is our governor wire these two wire going to our governor which is installed uh, our actuator sorry this is our actuator which is uh, installed here and these two wires are coming from governor and here we have our oil pressure switch and this is our priming pump okay so now here you will see this is our fuel filter uh, come in install two fuel filter one is water separator this is fs1280 uh, fuel water separator and this is ff5018 this is the fuel filter so here we have our mpu sensor this is our mpu sensor as you see the connection there is a two wires going towards our governor card okay so here we have our alternator as you see this is the alternator rating tal 044 mj 8s-4 this is made by lorai somer and here we have our lube filter which is lf 9000 or 900 i am unable to see from inside so this is i think lf 900 fuel filter so after that i will show you the uh charging alternator so this is our charging alternator where we have two wires connected uh, as you see previously in the video the wires are connected in the breaker and here we have temperature sensor and after that if you see here this is our starter motor relay uh, automotive four pin relay installed on uh, starter motor itself okay so this is uh, always recommended to use uh this kind of relay to protect your starter motor from high current it will not damage your uh, wiring okay so here we have also one protective relay additional protective relay which we installed here here we have our uh, batteries which is mf65 uh, d31l okay after that here if you see if you see here this is our air filter and it is not mentioning any number i tried to show you the number but number is not mentioned uh, so this is chinese you can expect anything from china so here we now i am testing the uh, governor card so now i am checking the ohms of uh, our uh, actuator in the off condition now generator is off and now you see it is showing 7.7 ohms or uh, resistance for our uh, actuator okay so actuator is showing the resistance value 7.7 ohms so now i am checking the other two wire which is our uh, uh, what we say mpu okay the mpu two wires is red and black so i will put now two uh, wire on red and black okay 
and we will check what is the reading so this is the ohms reading this is 0.889 kilo ohms so it's mean 0.88 kilo ohms okay this is our mpu reading so now after that i will start the engine and i will see what is the what is the reading during the running so this is very important to see the resistance of the well uh, resistance value of your equipment that if there is no resistance so sometime it is open circuit also so i check now the closed circuit how much it is showing so here you see now there is no voltage dc voltage so now i put uh, here on actuator i will run the generator now and you will see what is the uh, value will come on gover on actuator side on actuator terminals how much the governor is producing so now you see it is showing 9 volt around 8.3 volt 8.3 volt dc it is producing from for actuator actually our generator is 24 volt with two batteries and now you see governor is con only giving 8.3 volt to the actuator so this is the way engine is controlling once the engine required more fuel so the actuator will increase the the governor will increase the voltage level and now you see this is our ac voltage 1.1 voltage uh, 2 volt is coming on our mpu okay so this is 2.0 on our mpu so now you see the difference the mpu is getting ac voltage 2 volt ac from the our uh, from our mpu so guys thank you for watching inshallah we'll see you in the next video till that take care have a nice day assalamu